Hello, and welcome to this week's EastEnders Spoilers. Week commencing the 25th of September 2023. After finishing another livestream, Ryan receives a message telling him that his filter dropped out and his subscriber recognized him from the papers as the guy who suffered the acid attack. Ryan is thrown into panic and tries to deny it. However, when Suki from the Gazette approaches and reveals she's seen some screen grabs from his porn videos, knows that he was the victim of the acid attack and would like to interview him for a story, Ryan's horrified. Unaware, Carla insists Ryan join her for lunch in the Rovers, but when Izzy comes across the Gazette article, she shows it to Glenda, Sean, Carla, Daisy and Daniel. As he returns from the loo, a mortified Ryan realizes they're all talking about him. Meanwhile, Billy conducts Shelley's funeral, but when Paul stands to say a few words, Shelley's brother objects. Paul rails at Kieran for failing to support his sister when she was dying. Kieran's furious and as the two men tussle, Paul accidentally smacks Billy in the face. Elsewhere, deeply upset about Leo's murder, Jenny wonders if she should pay Teddy a visit. Stephen tries to quash the idea, but Jenny confides in Glenda that she's worried about Teddy as he must be grief-stricken and it seems odd that he's not been in touch regarding Leo's funeral. Jenny calls at the police station and voices her concerns to Craig. Also today, Ronnie tells Ed that the police have finished at the building site so they're free to crack on. Masking his worry, Ed promises to get the ball rolling. But when Ronnie reveals that he's planning to take Debbie away for a few days, but doesn't like leaving him in charge of the business account, Ed takes offense and storms off. Stephen tells Jenny that he wants to take her on holiday to Thailand to get away from everything. The Waterfords manager arrives to break the news that they're closing the Rovers for an extensive refurbishment and their contracts have been terminated with immediate effect. Jenny and the staff are thrown into a spin. Can they save the pub? Adam insists there's a case for unfair dismissal, but when D.S. Swain calls to tell Jenny they now have proof that neither Leo nor Teddy visited Canada, her mind goes elsewhere. As Jenny argues that Teddy contacted Stephen from Canada, Stephen inwardly panics. Meanwhile, Lauren clocks Ryan looking at flats to rent. She offers him the spare room at her precinct flat. Carla and Daisy are concerned as Ryan moves out. Trying to make amends for his jealous behavior, Daniel helps Ryan carry his things into the flat. But when some lads make jibes at Ryan about his scars, he turns on him in a rage. Daniel intervenes. As Daniel picks up Ryan's things, he notices the stash of testosterone. Elsewhere, Courtney puts pressure on Ardy to find them somewhere to live. Telling her he loves her, a besotted Ardy promises to get onto it straight away. When Bernie reveals that Shelley's old flat is up for rent, Ardy's delighted whilst Dev glowers at Bernie. Also today, Ange, the owner of a local cab firm, calls at the garage and reveals that she's looking for someone to service her fleet. When Cassie lets slip that Abby has been in prison and they're both recovering addicts, Kevin despairs. Finally, Paul asks an emotional Bernie and Gemma if they'll walk him down the aisle to steady him. Ardy and Courtney announce that they're moving into Shelley's old flat. Courtney tells Ardy that she'll sell her rings towards the deposit, and with the rest of the cash they can go out and celebrate. Courtney drags Ardy to the bistro, where a golf club bash is also going on. Seeing it as a great opportunity to wind Darren up, Courtney snogs the face off Ardy while talking loudly about their new flat. Dev can barely watch as Ardy and Darren square up. Bernie orders calm, but as they leave, she warns Courtney that she knows her game, it's obvious she's using Ardy when she's still in love with Darren. Darren takes Dev to one side and offers him £5,000 to split up Courtney and Ardy. Dev returns home and, pulling out the £5,000, tells Courtney it's hers if she dumps Ardy. Will she take the bait? Meanwhile, Jenny and Stephen move in with Rita but assure Rita that they won't be under her feet for long as hopefully they're off to Thailand. On the street, Jenny, Glenda, Daisy, Sean and Gemma watch emotionally as the Waterfords workmen start boarding up the rovers. When Gemma reveals that she has applied for the deputy manager role with Waterfords, Daisy's fuming, assuming it would go to Jenny. Elsewhere, Billy and Paul meet up with the registrar to go over their wedding plans. When Paul requests, Oh Happy Day, for their exit music, the registrar explains they're not allowed religious music at a civil ceremony. Paul is gutted. Also today, 
Daniel asks Ryan if he'd be prepared to give a talk to the STC students about the impact violent crime has on its victims. Ryan's unsure. Finally, Tyrone tells Evelyn that Cassie has gone to a meeting, but when he gets a phone call from the police, his heart sinks. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss next week's Coronation Street spoilers.